Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to another video on my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and all my videos are directly referenced from internationally accepted US National Medical Library. So you can trust the information given in my videos. So today with all your requests, I'm making videos on dandruff. Dandruff or seboric dermatitis. Today we're going to discuss everything there is to know about this problem and I'm going to give you all the solutions there are. So don't miss the last part stay tuned if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos so guys your scalp is basically uh, the skin which is there in your head and it can have a lot of problems dandruff is basically flaking of the skin the flakes are can be yellow they can be white the dandruff can actually make your scalp itchy also so this can happen in any age it can start in puberty it's very common in men and that's also called as seboric dermatitis or seboria that's basically a skin inflammation it's basically a condition that can also cause redness and irritation in the skin and uh, most of the time using a dandruff shampoo can actually control uh, the dandruff but if that does not help you need to go to a doctor you need to go to a dermatologist that's the thing and uh, there is another type of this problem dandruff in babies seboric dermatitis in babies that is called cradle cap Cradle cap is basically which lasts for a few months and then goes away on its own. Right? Besides the scalp, it can actually affect other parts of the body also like eyelids, armpits, groins and ears of the baby. So normally washing the baby's hairs every day with a mild shampoo and gentle rubbing on the scalp with your fingers or a soft brush can help and for severe cases only for severe cases you need to go to a doctor they will give you a prescription of a shampoo and a cream to use right so that's the uh, basic thing about uh, cradle cap now let's talk about seboric dermatitis why does that happen what causes seboric dermatitis there can be because of a combination of factor first is your oil gland activity Right. If somebody says, okay, this is the problem, they, they are wrong because it's actually not dependent. Sometimes oil gland activity can be high and still you might not have dermatitis, right? This seboric dermatitis. So there is one factor. This is just a factor, oil gland activity. Then yeast, there can be malasias uh, that uh, live on your skin actually. Uh, mainly uh, in the areas with more oil glands, they can actually cause this infection. Then sometimes your genes genetics are involved and changes in your skin barrier function can be there so these are basically proposed uh, the factors and there can be a lot of risk factors including stress fatigue extreme weather condition oily skin of course skin problems like acne heavy alcohol use lose a lot of lotions if you're using which contain alcohol obesity if you're overweight nervous system disorders like sometimes if you have like stroke parkinson's disease you might have this and even uh, some infections like hiv aids so all these things can actually uh, promote your uh, increase your risk of having seboric dermatitis if you do have that obviously this problem can happen anywhere in the body but when it happens on your head that is called dandruff it often forms where the skin is oily and greasy that's the basic and uh, it's basically it can actually include uh, many areas including the eyelids eyebrows creases of the nose uh, sometimes the lips, behind the ears, outer ear, middle of the chest also can be involved. Now, obviously dandruff is there on the head. In general, if you have this problem, your skin will be scaly. There will be flakes over the large areas. There will be greasy, oily areas in the skin. And the skin scale will be white and flaking, sometimes yellow, sometimes oily. It might be a sticky dandruff. Itching can be there. And there might be hair loss. There might be mild redness. They all things, these all things can be there. Then how do you diagnose it? Diagnosing this is based on the appearance and the location of the skin. Right? Only by looking a doctor can diagnose that okay this is this problem and if you want to confirm obviously you need to take a skin biopsy but it's rarely needed 
right then coming on to the most important thing for which you are here treatment flaking and dryness can be treated with over the counter dandruff or medicated shampoos right you can use any dandruff shampoo but you can take a prescription from the doctor also look for a product that says that uh, on the label that it treats seborrheic dermatitis or dandruff obviously such product contain high ingredients of something called as salicylic acid coal tar zinc uh, resorcin uh, ketoconazole or selenium sulfide so this all these all things can be present either one of them can be there or a combination can be there in the dandruff shampoos use the shampoo according to the label or according to your doctor's advice that is most important for severe cases your doctor or doc healthcare provider will prescribe a shampoo or a cream or ointment or lotion which contains strong doses of these above mentioned medications or they can actually have certain other medications like cyclopirox or sodium uh, sulfacetamide or even a corticosteroid or some tacrolimus or permicolimus like these are uh, immunosuppressive medication sometimes phototherapy can be tried as a medical procedure on your skin which which is basically carefully exposed to ultraviolet uh, light that can be done by a dermatologist sun rays sun rays may also improve uh, seborrheic dermatitis but that is in some people and uh, you need to understand that seborrheic dermatitis is basically a chronic condition sometimes it comes and goes comes and goes but it can be controlled with treatment okay severe can cases of this problem can be lessened by controlling the risk factors and paying close attention to the skin type by discussing your options with your dermatologist there can be certain complications of this condition like psychological distress low self esteem sometimes people are embarrassed and secondary infection can also happen because of bacteria or fungus so that's uh, the basic thing which you need to understand then talking about some tips for management right if you have a, a child infant with a cradle cap then you need to understand that this problem usually goes away within 6 months to uh, 12 months of age and if uh, you what you can do obviously you can use a baby shampoo a comb or brush and how you can use you can just shampoo the baby's scalp with a baby shampoo it often helps uh, you know soften the scalp then once the scale starts to soften then you gently brush it away right then you also need to understand that you need to take care of the diaper areas as well right if there is a problem in that area you can talk to a doctor for a rash cream uh, and other types of ointments or something like that if adult have uh, this problem in the scalp dandruff shampoo needs to be used and always read the label sometimes you might need to leave the shampoo on the scalp for a few minutes so how to use it on day 1 when you are using it use the dandruff shampoo and continue using it every other day on day 2 use your regular shampoo Uh, use this every other day so one day you take the anti dandruff other day you use regular shampoo as the problem of dandruff lessens you can decrease how often you are using your dandruff shampoo but use it at least uh, once or twice in a week so that's the uh, idea if you are not getting relief obviously as i said all the anti dandruff shampoo or uh, higher concentration shampoos can be taken from your Uh, doctor hope this video was useful and uh, don't experiment on yourself if there is a problem which is not going away talk to a dermatologist that's the best advice which i can give and stay connected guys i'm dr baramjit for such informative videos subscribe and hit the bell icon of my channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and your colleagues so till next time i'm dr baramjit I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital Nehru Nagar Delhi NCR stay connected stay healthy